Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders like these characters to my right from within the digital infrastructure space. And we are coming to you live, that's right, live from PTC 2025 in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. And to my right, I have Mr. Matt Monaco. Matt is the Senior Vice President of Asset Management and Development at Powerhouse Data Centers, a company we've all heard of before, a strategic partner of Quantum Connect. We also have Mr. Dan Golding. Dan is Strategic Advisor, ASG, and Strategic Advisor to the Stars. Gentlemen, welcome to JSA TV. It's great to be here. Thank yeah. you for having us. You bet. You bet. So, um, okay. So, number first question: How's the show going for you? Oh, it, it's been great so far. Lots of great meetings. Getting to see a lot of familiar faces. It's been a great show. Awesome. Yeah, super useful. Um, you know, I think uh, PTC gets better every year. It does. Well, this is my first PTC, but um, the general consensus is that this is the biggest and most fruitful to date. Would you, would you guys agree with that? It's fruitful. Okay, well, let's uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, question number one: Tell us about Quantum Connect's proximity and why. Uh, as I understand it, Quantum Connect is a project. Yes, not a company. Yes, and 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 it, it is happening in Ashburn, a little place we are all know and love in the data mm -hmm. center industry. Why don't we talk about the project and its proximity there in Ashburn? Yeah, ha happy to do that. So, uh, Quantum Connect is a project. It's 20 megawatt site. It's right in the heart of Ashburn. Uh, it's connected to 10 different data center campuses around the area with a network of 340 conduits that link it to about 45 data centers. Uh, we're, we're focused on uh, leasing one to three megawatt suites, private suites, mm -hmm. um, and, and it's right in the, in the center of Ashburn, Maine on Maine. Yeah, and it's, it's super unusual because it, it, in most big data center markets, I can lease an entire data center. Mm -hmm. so I'm in, and I might be able to get a five rack or a 10 rack cage. So it's increasingly difficult to get that sort of one to three megawatt byte. In Ashburn, it's effectively impossible right. to get yeah, that. Right. And so uh, you know, this was, was a unique opportunity to take some power and, and a really awesome site and make an infill that can meet the needs of a lot of people that just aren't being met right now. Speaking of... Uh, Amazing. Thank you very much. But speaking of needs that aren't being met right now, nobody leaves the JSA TV seats without talking about AI. And so we are going to we are going to talk about those needs. Presumably, uh, you guys have your fingerprints on, on the, the future of AI deployment. Um, why don't we talk a little bit about that? So AI comes in sort of two flavors for data centers. There's the AI training sites, which are the huge, vast, big sites that are out in, you know, the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. you know, as far as the eye can see. But there, there's, and, and that's been the first kind of site to get deployed widely. The second kind of site is what's called an inference site. And the inference sites are where, when you're talking to ChatGPT or creating a video, that's where it's actually coming from to serve the user. That's where the queries per second are happening. That's where the money is being made. Yeah. Those are much smaller and they have to be much, much closer to interconnection. They have to be much, much closer to the end user. And so one of the primary purposes of this 20 megawatt site in Ashburn, uh, Quantum Connect, is to be a inference edge site uh -huh. for all the people who are building these monstrously big training sites out in you know the Midwest or yeah. Texas or whatever. You know, there has to be an accompanying series of smaller data centers that are near the people. Dan, that is a that is a nuance and that and you're the first person to mention it in the last well, three, two and a half days now. Is there a prize? <laughs> yeah, um, you want another glass of water? Yes. <laughs> but no, that. Thank you very much for context. That is exceedingly helpful. Um, anything to add there? Yeah, I mean, I, I think looking at the inference workloads, uh, Quantum Connect is set up for racks in in excess of thirty kVA per rack, uh, with some of these higher density workloads in mind um, for inference. And, and this, as we look at different user requirements, this one to three megawatt size is a spot that works well for these type of inference workloads. They're not, as Dan said, they're not 50, 100, 200 megawatts. These are smaller spots where the location really matters. Very good. Um, and let's talk about new builds. Um, what do you guys got cooking? 
Uh, so the Quantum Connect project is is going live in the fourth quarter of twenty six. Mm -hmm. uh, this is this is the uh, this this is the project we're talking about here. Okay, so okay, so that is that 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 is the marquee build. Yes, yeah. that, that is the marquee build, and it's you know we're not here to talk about fifty. The reason we're talking about this one is because it's unique. Yeah. Um, you know, when I was talking with a potential customer, they said, "Oh, we have several alternatives," and I said, "Actually, no, no, you don't." Uh, this is it. Yeah. Th this is what is being delivered in Q4 in 2026 in Ashburn. Everything else is spoken for. Yeah. And and that's a weird place <laughs> to be in. Yeah. Like, like you know, w there is one coconut left on the table. Yeah. Would you like a coconut? Yeah. Right. And, you know, but it's, uh, you know, the good news is that this, this facility is really, really well designed for, you know, user requirements for what they want. And, you know, it's, it's hitting at just the right time yeah. for a lot, for what people need. No, outstanding. And uh, that's, that's the button. I think uh, we'll, we'll wrap things up right there. Gentlemen, thank you very much for being on JSA TV. Of course. Yeah. Thank, thank you, you for having us. It's great to be here. Thanks. You bet. Thank you. And thank you viewers for watching JSA TV. Stay curious, stay connected, and we'll see you soon.